I am in my bathroom and I am getting ready uh, for my day. So I just thought I would start my vlog early today. Usually I start before I take you know who for you know what. I'm not saying the words because we skipped that today, but I think we're still gonna go. But I, I'm just doing things a little different today. Well, let's get out of my bathroom. This is like no fun to hang out in here. So let's hang, go out in the kitchen. All right, so Don got, we got this in the mail yesterday. He had ordered it and it was uh, some kind, it, it's a tool, Tool Daily Phone, Foam Cannon. And this is what it looks like out of the box. So he got that and he got some of this uh, pink car soap because, you know, with his new truck, he wants to be able to wash it here at the house and not pay $10 every time he goes to the car wash because um, he doesn't want to drive it through the car wash. He wants to do it himself. And, you know, even he's been doing it to the, going to the self car wash and doing it. But it's like 10 bucks every time. So, you know, he got this whole kit and then he realized he can't use this without an air pressure or a, one of those pressure washers. Well, I've been wanting one of those forever. So he went he ordered one now because because he needs it. So I, I'm getting an, uh, an air pressure, is that what you call them? And, uh, or what do you call those? A pressure washer, not an air pressure, a, a pressure washer. So he's gonna get one of those and it should come in tomorrow. And then he's getting this, uh, this attaches somehow to that and then he can use that with this pink car soap to wash his truck. And he's also gonna be washing my car, he doesn't realize that, but if he's gonna invest all this in washing stuff, then he might as well wash my car too, right? Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with that and you're on my side, and then I can I can argue for my case with him. <laughs> so uh, that's, uh, that's his new little project. And my project continues to be decluttering uh, paper. And today I'm super excited because my squat rack is coming in. It's going to be delivered and... Um, I probably, I don't know if it'll end up on this vlog or not, but yeah, super, super excited. One thing I'm doing all through the month of October is decluttering a part of my house every single day. And this week I'm working in the kitchen. So every day I spend 15 minutes decluttering just a cupboard or a, a drawer or just something like that. And it's so, so easy and it's just keeping me on track. So if you guys are not familiar with zone cleaning, that's what I'm doing this month. This week it's kitchen, and then next week we'll be moving into another area of the house, but I'm just spending 15 minutes every day, and today it's this little cupboard here, and it was so good just to get this little bit done. I just feel so good. I'm, I'm making progress. One of the things that I've learned through this whole pro uh, doing the decluttering every day for 15 minutes in a particular zone is that I'm not afraid to just get things done and I don't overthink anymore. Like before, it would feel like when I came around and I was decluttering a, a cupboard or a drawer, it always felt like I had to get it perfect. And now I know that I'm, I've got a system and I'm gonna come back around this way again soon enough and I can try like organizing things in a different way. I know I can live with it for a little while and the next time we get into this zone and I'm decluttering uh, in this zone, I can retry it again. I can change things up again. So the pressure is off to be perfect. And that's what I really like about this system. All right, I'm still uh, finding, well, this isn't gonna go there, but uh, I'm putting a few more things out and uh, I'm far from done, but I'm just doing it little by little and that's, few things that I've I've gotten out I found my spider lights so I'm gonna put uh, plug these in that was a Dollar Tree find and this year it's a little different Oh no, this is from, no, this is from last year. That's from this year. 
That is not my squat rack. According to Alexa, it was going to be delivered today, and that's all we have so far. And it's allergy season, and we have Kleenex boxes everywhere in our house. So I use these little strips from the command strip um, hooks. I just put one of those on the back of my box and stick it on my wall. And uh, it, fits, it goes in any room you want. <laughs> so there's a little tip for you if you're like us and you need uh, Kleenex for allergies. I made these the other day and they are so good and easy and pretty healthy, packed with protein and not a whole lot of sugar. So, um, yeah, here's a half eaten one. I've been eating a half a muffin and uh, they are so good. They're almost like uh, like cupcakes, really. So I can't wait to show you guys how I made these muffins. I'm going to start off with uh, this, the Kodiak Cakes. It's Power Cakes, Flapjack, and Waffle Mix. Uh, this is protein packed. You can see that this has, um, oh, let's see. So the macros on here are 190 calories. It's got 6% 6 total fat, 10% saturated fat. Um, it's, it has uh, eight or 9% carbs, so it is 28 grams of carbs. It does have uh, eight grams of sugar and 14 grams of protein. So I'm going to use this as my base to make muffins today. Now this is the Kodiak Cakes Power Cakes. It is the 100% uh, whole grains and it has dark chocolate. So here we go. The box, you can see it's chocolate banana muffins. We're gonna use two cups of Kodiak Cakes mix, three fourths cup milk of choice. I'm gonna use almond milk, a half a cup of brown sugar, I'm going to substitute the brown sugar for maple syrup. I don't know how it's going to go, but let's give that a shot. Then I'm going to use a fourth cup of butter melted and two ripe bananas mashed and one egg. I'm just going to mix all of this in my mixer and then pour this into my prepared muffin cups. Now for the brown sugar, it calls for a half a cup of brown sugar, so I'm going to use about a quarter cup of maple syrup. When I did look it up, so for every one cup of brown sugar, three fourths. Of maple syrup so about, and put fill it three fourths of the way full I think I can wing it we'll see all right this is about um, it's a half a cup measuring cup and it's about That's three fourths measure of my maple syrup I'm gonna add uh, maybe about a half a cup of these. They're the Bake Believe dark chocolate. No sugar added, they are 55% cacao. I'm gonna add uh, about a half a cup of uh, these baking ch chocolates to my mix. And now these are going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for 16 to 18 minutes. All right, I put these in the oven for 16 minutes to start and I checked them and they are perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And uh, they rose up just perfectly. Look at that. So I'm going to let them cool and give them a try. Those muffins were really, really good. They're almost like cupcakes. And, you know, they're like, you know, it's kind of like a healthy pancake with maple syrup and butter. You can't go wrong. You can eat them for breakfast. You can eat them for dessert. You can eat them any time of the day, which is what we've been doing. And yeah, I will definitely be making those again. So let me know in the comments if you decide to make them. Well, John came home for lunch. I made some tuna salad. It was really good. And it's now later and he's going to be home from work any minute and still no squat rack. So I'm, st I'm hoping that it's going to come this evening, but I don't know. Um, we did get another big box here. I don't know if you can see it. And that is John's air compressor. 
is that no pressure washer whatever that thing's called <laughs> but still no squat rack so um it's late now so I will uh, keep you guys posted, but I guess I better get to the gym anyway and try to do the best I can with what I have. So, um, so it is a lifting day and, uh, so I'll just be doing, I'll just be focusing on lifting for about 45 minutes today and that's probably going to be it, but I'm not going to include that on my vlog because you guys have already seen that. So, uh, that's going to be my video today. I hope you guys are having a great week. Let me know in the comments how you're doing and uh, do take good care and if you haven't subscribed and you're new to my channel i hope that you'll subscribe click that notification bell and all through vlogtober october i'm putting a video out every day so take good care and i will see you tomorrow bye mm -hmm.